How much do you weigh? Well, that's rude. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Lindsay's Latest. This week I'm doing something a little different and it was inspired by other major big YouTube celebrities. They're doing this thing called the TMI tag. Now as a viewer, I watched a few of them and I found it really amusing. So I was like, hey, maybe I'll do the TMI tag. I don't really understand what TMI tag means and I know that sounds ridiculous. Like I know what TMI means, but like who am I tagging? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read these questions. I basically got the questions, uploaded them onto my phone, and I've only read the first three. So the rest are just gonna be winging it and they're gonna be pretty honest answers. So I guess that's exciting for you, maybe not for me. I hope that I'm on my A game and can be quick witted right now. With that being said, the TMI tag commences. First question to kick off a series of way too many questions. <laughs> what are you wearing? I am wearing my Smokey the Bear felt hat. This is from Urban Outfitters. And my top I actually just got. This is a knit top from Loft. And I'll actually put it in the description below for you. I'm also wearing a ton of jewelry because I love little dainty and bulky everyday jewelry. That's what that's all about. Have you ever been in love? I hope so. I'm married. Have you ha ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, every single one before my husband. How tall are you? Five, six. I think I'm slightly under, but I'm definitely five, six. How much do you weigh? Well, that's rude. <laughs> Any tattoos? I have contemplated getting a tattoo many times. I've actually even been in the tattoo parlor with the guy with the needle a millimeter away from my skin and I backed out. But no, no tattoos. And I think I'm very unique for not having tattoos. Any piercings? Yes, my ears are pierced. And way back when, I pierced my tongue. Oh yes, I did. And I think I was even underage. And I won't say who did it. <laughs> OTP? I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, what does that mean, you guys? Let me know in the comments below. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself. Favorite show? Reality TV. I also enjoy Homeland, Scandal. Favorite bands? I would probably crumble if I ever met Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. I'm a 90s kid, I was born in the 80s, and I have a love for bands from the 90s, and Pearl Jam is one of my favorites. I also love a lot of 70s rock, The Eagles, Led Zeppelin, I love U2, I mean, it's, it's countless. I have appreciation for a lot of different bands. More so than I would say current bands. I'm definitely involved in albums as a whole with older bands than I am with newer bands, so if that makes sense. Maybe that means I'm old. <laughs> I think that means I'm old. Translation. Something you miss. I miss my grandparents, actually. I feel like, obviously, something so special about a grandparent's adoration for you that can never be duplicated. So I, I really miss that. I do. I miss that for my grandparents. How old are you? Rude! Zodiac sign, Virgo. Quality you look for in a partner. Honesty in someone who is confident and true to themselves and who they are. That's a really incredible quality in someone. Favorite quote. My favorite quote is, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind won't matter and those who matter won't mind. Favorite actor, Tom Hanks and Liam Neeson. I like the older guys. Favorite color. I know it's an uncolor, but white. Where do you go when you're sad? Wherever I'm at. <laughs> I don't really have a sad spot. How long does it take you to shower? Um, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes, that's next, boring. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I have two lives. If I'm getting ready, just go run out and do a poll for work, seriously, 25 minutes, that's everything. Outfit, makeup, because I'll barely wear any. Now, if I'm going to be on camera, probably going to be an hour and a half because I like to take my time. Ever been in a physical fight? Uh, no. Turn on, confidence. And my husband, he surfs and he arranges flowers for me. Yes, I'm telling them. And he can fix anything in our house. And that, my friends, is a man.
Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, wow, this is a great question. The blogger thing was really in and I'm not a writer. And I found that all these different shows I'm on, because as you guys know, I'm a style expert on different TV shows. When I would be on these shows, it was great and all, but I could never connect really with anybody after to see how it was or get feedback other than from my producers. I like to talk and share, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel so I can connect with people and and kind of take the intimidation out of fashion. So that's why I'm here. And you guys have ugh, made me realize like, this is my spot, I'm staying. Fears, I have the fear of failing, definitely. I have the fear that I'm not working hard enough, which I am a workaholic, so I know that sounds crazy. And also, obviously, the, the, the usual death. That's usual. I want everyone to stay around me that I love forever, so that's a fear of mine, definitely. Last thing that made me cry, probably me being an idiot and being like, why am I so stupid? <laughs> it happens. Last time you said you love somebody, probably five minutes ago after I strangled my husband. The meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, I love a good old play on words, Lindsay's latest. Latest fashion, it could be latest anything. And I just thought, thank God my name's Lindsay because I love Lindsay's latest. Last book you read. Can't remember, that'll tell you something. The book you're currently reading, well. Last show you watched, Real Housewives of New Jersey premiere last night. The fashion's so bad, it's so good. I love it. Gosh, I'm so sorry you guys, this is very long. I hope my answers are entertaining. The relationship between you and the person you last text. Oh wow, this is cool. We actually did not like each other in high school. She was actually very rude to me and I'm sure I was very rude to her. We did not like each other at all. And then once we got out of high school, we really came together and we have been dear friends, like one of my best friends ever since. And that was, I mean, 10, 15 years ago. Favorite food, Greek with hot sauce or Mexican with hot sauce, anything with hot sauce. Place you want to visit. Oh, the Greek Isles, uh, Italy, and I would love to visit Istanbul because I've heard some really good things about it as well. Last place you were, I was actually at an, a friend's house last night who was also someone I despised in high school. It was kind of like a, it may lead into that fist fight question <laughs> that I didn't answer earlier. Um, no, it wasn't that bad, but it was close. But now I love her. Last time you kissed someone, my husband, Last time you were insulted. You know what, thankfully it's been a while. Favorite flavor of sweet. Oh gosh. Oh. Them all, I love them all. I had yogurt Lynn actually last night. So I love yogurt, I love everything sweet. I never say no. What all goes right here. What instruments do you play? I play the violin, the trumpet, the saxophone, the guitar. Just kidding. I played the recorder when I was nine years old, and what is the recorder? The most uninteresting instrument in the world. And I'm sorry if you play it, because then I don't mean what I just said. <laughs> Favorite piece of jewelry, it has to be my wedding ring that my husband gave me, and he picked this out. Last sport you played. Is the gym a sport? Kickboxing? I played organized sports when I was a kid, and my parents never told me this, but I was never that good. And I really tried, I was like, I'm gonna really, succeed and excel and I'm gonna practice. I was just never that good. I just didn't have that gene. So I don't really play much sports. My job is my sport. Last song you sang, probably something involving 90s rap because there's a station here in Los Angeles that plays all the 90s rap hits. Favorite chat up line? What does that mean? I don't know. Have you ever used it? What is this? A favorite chat up? I don't, I don't know what that is. And please tell me, because I want to know. Last time you hung out with anyone, last night with my old non-high school friends. Who should answer these questions next? See, this is the part where I'm confused. Oh, I think I tag. Clearly in typical Lindsay fashion, I didn't read or research all the directions before I did this tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to research what the heck it means people I tag and I will do it. So you'll have to read in the description below or I will include it in the annotations. And yeah, but I hope you guys found this amusing. Please let me know. It was a definitely different from what I normally do. It really didn't have anything to do with fashion or tips or anything. It just kind of gave you a little bit more of an insight about me. So please let me know if you enjoyed it. And if I get enough 
comments and likes, I'll do something like this again to kind of let you in on maybe a little bit more about me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. But there are some skinny styling tips that I have for you that work universally for all different body types and I'm gonna share those with you today. So it's tank season. I know some of us are like, oh, I don't wanna wear a tank top. I mean, I kind of would prefer to always cover my arms. I don't know, it's just kind of like my thing. But there is one tank top that is more flattering than the others, I would say. It is 